Hi guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy and in this week's lesson I'm going to give you three great exercises that will help you solo in 5-4 so that you feel more confident and in control when you're playing over tunes like Take 5. Okay, before we get started, uh, I've created a free worksheet uh, for all these exercises, uh, including the example phrases that I play during today's lesson. There's also a slow, medium and fast backing track for take five, so you can get practicing with this stuff straight away. All this is linked down in the description below. Okay, let's get started. So in last week's lesson, I showed you how to play the melody for take five. And as you know, this tune is in 5-4 time, meaning that every bar adds up to five beats. This is pretty unusual, as most music we've ever listened to or played in our lives has been in two, three or four time. Now when most people, including myself, <laughs> first start having a go at improvising in a tune that's in five, uh, the most common thing to do is to divide the bar up into a group of three and a group of two. Um, and this method's okay, um, but the trouble is it can leave you improvising uh, in a very constrained and boxy way because you're thinking of filling up three beats and then filling up two beats. So these exercises are designed uh, to get you playing across uh, that divide from the first three beats to the second two beats and also uh, going across the bar lines as well so you don't feel constrained to just filling up each individual bar with notes. So let's recap the clave that we used at the end of last lesson. Um, first of all, it's good to start by tapping your feet to get the pulse going. Nice medium speed, like one, two, three, four, five, and just keep that going. Now we're gonna be clapping on beats one and two, turning our hand over and clicking on four. So it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And you can keep going like this, getting really comfortable with it, um, and start to speed up as well. Four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the reason why we clap this clave is because it's a sequence of actions that takes five beats before it repeats. And it's also outlining the strong beats in the bar, one and four. And by doing this repeatedly, you're helping to internalize this cycle of five. So with that clave in place, now we get to our first exercise. Over the top of the clave, we're gonna use this rhythm, which is two groups of five eighth notes. Now don't worry if you don't read music, as you can do this orally. We're also gonna use some syllables to help keep track, so we don't just end up repeatedly saying da, 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 da. Uh, these words actually come from conical, which is a South Indian system. So this is what it sounds like. I'm gonna do it with swing eighth notes uh, to keep the take five feel, and I'm gonna say it really slowly, three, Four, five. What you should really pay attention to is what syllables connect with the claps. Um, repeat this lots until you feel really comfortable doing it, um, and then you can try it at this speed. One, two, three, four, five. Taka taki te, taka taki te, taka so now I'll play an example phrase on the sax. With all these phrases, um, I've written them out and you can have a go at playing these exact phrases as well. Um, I'm just using notes from the C Dorian scale, which is what Paul Desmond uses in his solo on this tune. Okay, so next up, all we do is remove the last note of each group of five and leave a gap or a rest. Uh, so this is what it would sound like slowly. Three, four, five. Taka, 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 taka. Taka, 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 taka. So again, repeat this and gradually speed it up. Then grab your sax uh, and have a go at playing this rhythm. I'll give you another example now. So now we take off the next eighth note. Um, so it's only going to be three now. So it sounds like this: three, four, five. Ta ka ta, ta ka ta, ta ka ta, ta ka ta. Ok, 
Okay, so now we're down to two notes, and that will sound like this. Three, four, five. Taka, 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 taka. And here's the last one. So just one note now with the four gaps, or one long held note. Sounds like this. Three, four, five. Ta, ta. Ta, ta. So that's the first game. The next one, we take a group of four eighth notes. Now this takes two bars before the cycle repeats. So with this exercise, you're starting to play phrases which go across the bar line. Um, we use the word takademi for the group. Uh, but we're going to do the same thing as we did for the first exercise. So we start with all four uh, syllables. Here's the first phrase. Three, four, five. Takademi, 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 ta. Okay, next up, we do the same as we did before. So we're now removing the last quaver. And that sounds like this. Three, four, five. Tack a D, 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 ta. Okay, now we're down to just two quavers, and that sounds like this. Three, four, five. Tack a, tack a, tack a, tack a. All right, nearly there. Last one. Just one beat. So this is like just playing a half note. Sounds like this. Three, four, five. Ta, 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 ta. ta. Okay, so we've arrived at the final game. This time we're just taking three eighth notes, and this takes three bars for it to repeat. Uh, we're gonna use the word ta ki te. Um, so when we say all three, it sounds like this. Three, four, five. Ta ki te, 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 ta. Okay, so as ever, we take off one quaver. So this sounds like this. Three, four, five. Taki, 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 ta. And finally, we're just left with just one, which sounds like this. Three, four, five. Ta. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, that's it for this week's lesson. Remember to work your way really slowly through each of those exercises to get the most out of them. Avoid the temptation to go and run and grab your sack straight away. It really works best by layering those rhythms with the clave. Next week, we're gonna have a look at a really nice 251 phrase, and I'm gonna show you how to pull it apart and make it your own. All right, that's it for this week. See you soon. <laughs>